Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today, uh, because I have Valerie here, for one. Um, also, because uh, we are in... Uh, where are we exactly, can we tell? The House at the Edge of Time. And Jethal killed Trishan. What a pity. He was a nullity in life, but it's sad to see resources wasted so... Jethal is kneeling beside Tristan's body, lazily running her fingers through the dead priest's golden locks. Um, what happened here? The naive boy priest fell for Nyrissa's illusions and attacked me. The nymph tried to fool my mind as well. She even offered me first world immortality. Can you imagine? She failed, of course. Not to flatter you. But you are the only leader I'm ready to follow. You have the will and mind worthy of a ruler. It would be inexcusably stupid for me to exchange your favor for the whims of an insane nymph. As for Tristian, I'm sorry that I accidentally deprived you of this useful tool. I'd be happy to raise him as undead, but Saren Ray has already taken the soul. We don't want to wrestle with the Everlight. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Well, I'm glad it's over with. Let's keep going. <laughs> It'd be really rich of me to accuse her of being a murderer after I heard... Uh, I mean, it's not here because I reloaded the game. Uh, but after I heard the conversation from last episode where uh, Trishan explicitly wants to kill uh, Jethel for being disgusting and, and evil. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you get, Trishan, you idiot. Uh, she is though evil. That's uh, that's that's the thing. Um, but uh, you should know that evil doesn't mean evil in this setting, because it's a uh, it's different. <laughs> and we we have talked about it plenty. Um, so we have improved critical Jethal. It fro probably for longsword. Point blank shot. No, it is her longsword, isn't it? I actually don't know what uh, she uses as a main weapon. It's a great club right now, but she can change that. She probably can change that. Uh, like, for example, let's see. So, that is just... It's just more damage and less armor class for sure. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I have her on damage anyway. Because the idea is to have her not take damage. Unfortunately, she does take damage. Uh, we got a composite longbow over here. A lucky composite longbow. Uh, we have longbow plus one. Sound whisper. She can't really use many weapons. A flaming long spear. Uh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, that actually is probably a lot better than what she ha she has right now. Hiccup. Uh, yep. Let's see. I believe she doesn't have proficiency in this. No, she does not. What about that one? That's a scythe. Right, she does have proficiency on a scythe. Uh, but I don't have good scythes. Unless that is a scythe, it is not. It is, uh, actually it is really good though. Um, it's a great club and she can use it. That's, that's what that is. A great club. Can she, is she good at it? No. Uh, is she good at this, though? She's also not good at this. It's a keen longsword. Can I give you something better? Yes, I can. Is it better? Well, it does a lot of damage. Uh, let's see. Is that better? She's not specialized in anything. Oh my god. Uh, the the fact that the game has so many types of weapon is just absolutely... It just completely gets me lost, honestly. I, I it's like, We should not have this many. Uh, let's see what else I can do here. Coordinated defense, critical focus. Uh, that, that's for... No, that is not... Wait. You are trained in the art of causing pain. You receive a plus four circumstance bonus on attack rolls made to confirm critical rate. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go for it. Uh, and then we have level 3 and level 6 new spells. We have Remove Curse. Honestly, I'll go with that because I never know where it is. Uh, and also, it's fine. F faster Mass. All enemies within a bunch of uh, space, uh, what happens to them? Permeates the target blocking healing abilities. Oh. So, that's pretty good. Honestly. I'll go with that. Blocking healing abilities on mass, though, might not be what we need. We not we might just need one specific 
blocking healing ability, if you know what I mean. Blessing of Luck and Resolve. Plus four morale bonus to all saving throws. Honestly, that's probably better. Blasphemy. Hmm. Arbitrament. That is a word. Dictum. Hmm. Okay, let's go with the, the blessing of things. And uh, see where she ends, uh, she ends up. So our party formation is good enough for the moment. Tristan is gone. I have the impression we're not getting out of here back into our kingdom, though. Uh, also, I probably should know that because we lost all of our kingdom kingdom quests. So, um, it, it, it probably means that this is endgame. It, it, it would make sense that this would be endgame. Well, we'll find out. I look forward to it. Very pretty place, though. And we have people singing. And monkeys. Not some monkeys singing, though. I'm not sure monkeys can sing. Uh, what do we have? Some things. Okay. Saying things are good. Things are good. Nothing here? No. Okay. How about this, then? What is that? The wizard in the mirror keeps clinging, clinging to the glass and whispering softly, not noticing you. Well. Then. Let's go through here. At this point, reality and unreality is complete. I have no idea where we are. Um, so, it's just... It's it's sort of pointless. I mean, not pointless, but uh, I have no idea where my things are. I suspect this is unreality, but um, hopefully I didn't lose track of it. There's also no mirror here. And also no wizard. There's still a monkey. Hmm. Let's check in here. And we have an enemy. What is that? A wild hunt scout. We're gonna die. Uh, or maybe we're... No, we're definitely gonna die. That Valerie's at the front. Okay, that's not too bad. Go for it. Uh... Okay. Only attack bonus of 19. Why does Valerie have an armor class of 26? Oh! Ambushes. I'm not being ambushed on the back. That is very surprising. And Valerie is the only one being attacked. Still don't have a healer. Are you kidding me? Let's see what a fireball can do here. Uh, I believe they're paralyzed. Yeah. Okay. Boy. The, I, I, th I, I suspect these... Um, I suspect these battles are completely optional. And by optional, I mean they are impossible. Um, there we go. And we do need to sleep again. But still no healer, so we can't really heal too well. So let's wait until we have a healer. We got a glaive. Um, I need to scroll down to the bottom. Glaive plus three. Not too shabby. Uh, we have a composite longbow. Yeah, just keep it. Let's locked. Jethal? Oh, they're paralyzed. I forgot about that. Uh, well, uh, I don't need to, to do that. So let's get you over here. Let's get Octavia to go up there. She can do the job. 22 seconds. No seconds. Oh, you're shooting. You better not shoot at her. Okay. What do we have? Nothing. Uh, those things are some things. Masterwork sling staffs. Staves? Sure. Um, and then we need to switch. Is it just touching it? Or do we all need to touch it? I'm not sure. I imagine it's just one of us touching it. Okay, this is interesting, because it always teleports us here. Okay, let's see. I need you to heal a lot. And by heal a lot, I mean use a lot of these, which you might have to drink the whole crate. The whole 50 or 40-something of them. 
Or maybe not, actually. I'm looking down at the health right now. And it's already halfway through. Okay, that's not too bad. It's only 20-something of them. Because she has so much health. Which doesn't matter for anything, because she just dies anyway. That shines, alright. Okay, so we don't know what that is. Let's figure it out later. Let's go up here. All the pretty flowers and vines. It's really cool. This looks pretty official. Misty chamber in the underground floor. Misty chamber in the underground floor. You can get where the final key is stored from there. Oh. Who's that? So my Robin thought she could trick me. Tried to spy, didn't you? I, well, yes, uh, because I'm not a traitor and I don't abandon my friends. Oh, that's uh, Knock Knock. Such loyalty, she says. I know just how to reward it. That's actually a lot of out of character. That's very out of character. Um, oh, that was Lindsay. Lindsay's dead. Oh no, that was a horned devil. Was it a horned devil or was it uh, the other one that talked? The hunt, uh, the horned hunter salutes you. Ah, the queen of the sand castle. You made it. After defeating the Jabberwock, I have to admit I'm impressed. But what will you do now? Pick the silly little bard's body up? Uh, what did you do to Lindsay? The horned hunter shrugs and then nods at the breathless. B uh, that's it's not not breathless. I mean, I'll, I guess in this case, you could you could maybe say that you'd have to take poetic li license to say breathless, but it, it's not what it means. Uh, body on the floor. The thought she could trick. Uh, she shot. Uh, she thought she could trick the mistress. Well, she's not the first one, and she won't be the last. Octavia's eyes are filled with tears, but she angrily wipes them away with a jerking motion. You'll pay for this, you hear me? She says. Um. Get out of my way. I want Nyrisa and I will get to her. No, silly creature. It's Nyrisa who wants you. You are the last grain of dust that will fall in the, uh, in the apology. The, right, because that's the name of the the, 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 the... the cup. And I will bring that grain to her <laughs> oh no we're all gonna die again aren't we although these battles these battles are a little bit easier or at least they were so Lindsay oh Lindsay actually gave me all the equipment that's very kind of her uh, but she did die this was not oh, that's bollocks yeah it was Nyrissa who killed her which is out of character but the reason why Nyrissa had to kill her is because uh, I think the game is doing some judgment um, on how I led these characters um, and um, and uh, and Lindsay didn't pass that judgment and uh, so basically they had to come up with a way to keep did you just die yes she did Octavia is now under attack. It is absolutely impossible. What is... Okay, that's bad. That's, that's good, not bad. Uh, it is bad that we lost uh, Jethal, but, you know, nah. it is what it is. Uh, let's try this. At least we're not paralyzed. Uh, Octavia is doing zany things, but we're, we're, we, can, we can live with that. Uh, why is she doing zany things? She is taking damage, which is really bad. Uh, she should not be taking damage. But, let's see. Can I do that? No, she's not taking damage. Okay, not control fireball then. Or not uh, actual fireball, just normal fireball. Uh, or just control fireball, which is a normal fireball for us. Let's try that one. She, uh, she's dead. It's fine. It's fine. This is winnable. This is beatable. Oh, friend. Why? Hi. Uh, more ambushes. What? You're paralyzed? Can we not have... What the hell is even? Uh, 
Well, let's see. Oh, no, everybody's paralyzed. Oh, no, yeah. We lost again. We died. Everybody died again. Lovely. This game likes to kill us all. Did you die? Thanks. The mistress will deal with you. Shaking his fist farewell, the horned hunter leans heavily against the door that led to the second floor. As if recognizing him, the door opened, allowing Nyrissa's terrifying servant through. He rushes away. The bodies of slain satyrs lay by the queen's feet, but the heroine's eyes were not fixed on them. A little further along, the daring, talented, restless Lindsay, loyal chronicler and friend, lay motionless on the ground. She was dead. Realizing what happened, the queen... Pressed her lips together stubbornly, ready for further danger. The visions of the house at the edge of time have revealed to the queen the sad truth. Lindsay never betrayed her. She just wanted to find out Nyrissa's plans. Pretending diligently to be interested and excited, Lindsay asked questions and finally discovered that there is a special place in the house at the edge of time. A shrine where the apology was kept. A cup holding the dust of almost a thousand kingdoms. If we reach this treasure, the evil nymph will definitely not be able to hide from us any longer. The entrance to the shrine opens with three keys. The wriggling man keeps the first key, the gnarly witch the second one, and the third one is stored in a secret room on the first floor. To get inside, one must pass through the mist chamber in the underground part of the house. Upon discovering all this, Lindsay decided to set off and find the third key to help the queen. But she was caught and murdered. I knew solo missions were not my thing. And then, standing over the body of her most loyal companion, the queen no. thought, how is it that this very moment is being described in the book if the author is already dead? Lindsay, you are... you. <laughs> First off, you 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 are definitely not my most loyal companion. Um, second, um, I, I I understand that you are saying that just to sort of bolster yourself up. Also, you wrote a book when you weren't with me because you are not my most loyal companion and decided to uh, side with Tartuccio right at the start of the adventure. It's it, hmm, something is wrong here. Yes, it's me right here in the book. It's a good thing you found me and that you can read. I've written all about the key. All right. You can find it somewhere in the mist, or using the mist. I didn't quite understand it all myself. You know, I was so scared when I stood at the door of the house and realized there was no one around. And then I got inside the book. This probably doesn't happen to souls often, even here in the first world. This is so strange. I can't decide whether it's exciting or sad. I've been thinking, can books read other books? Otherwise, when we defeat everyone and return home, I'll be bored. I'll have to live in the library. It's dusty, and maybe you could put me in a display case in the throne room? I... I I'd sniffle, but can't. Thank you for everything. It was such an exciting adventure. Please don't forget to take me with you wherever you go. I have to know how it all ends. Finish my story. It's too early to put a period on it. Uh, first off, yes, you 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 can definitely um, sniffle. You can just do any sort of notation to sniffle. Uh, secondly, no, you're not gonna get bored because being bored is a part of uh, p things with brains like ours. Because b b boredom is a defense mechanism, so that the brain doesn't basically just go bad <laughs> because our brains just uh, we we de develop things like dementia and. Uh, and other things, if uh, if we don't exercise our brains well enough, and that's what what boredom is there for, um, and uh, you, you know it's a defense mechanism, which which yes, it, it defeats that whole thing about oh I w I wouldn't want to live forever because uh, otherwise I'd be bored. No, you wouldn't be bored because you'd live forever. Uh, your brain wouldn't need that defense mechanism unless it did, in which case you probably would have other. I mean. If it did have that defense mechanism, it's safe to assume that you'd have other issues, like, for example, cancer and uh, 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 
uh, autoimmune reactions and uh, a bunch of other stuff that happens to people when they age. You just live forever. You wouldn't necessarily not get ill. So that's another issue. But since we're talking conjectures and uh, totally made up scenarios of living forever, uh, we need to assume that that's not a problem. So why not? Why are you not assuming that uh, being bored is also not a problem? Because, you know, it's just that. Yeah. What? Anyway. Uh, forgive me for not saying saving you. No, don't forgive me. You're just an idiot. Why did you go in alone? Also, you're you, you're a victim to a plot device, really, uh, because the it was out of character. Because Nairis, I say it was out of character. I haven't explained it yet. Uh, even though it, you might agree with me already, uh, but if you don't, here bear with me. Uh, so what Nairisa did with both of those other companions, both of our other companions, was torture them and torment them and force them to kill each other. Um, and uh, what she did with Nairisa, w w with Lindsay, was kill her with 200 damage, which means that she has an attack that does 200 damage. Um, yeah, so that's the situation that we're in. At least you're still doing what you loved most. And now I have to move on. And also we're paralyzed. No, we're not. So it's easy to see that uh, Nairisa won. She killed me. Nice and good. I mean, not herself, mind you. but Although herself as well. We did die to her the first time I think we fought her. Because that was a pretty tricky battle. But we beat her. Uh, but this one is impossible to beat. Uh, and some singing going on over here. It seems that this ornate, ornate and shining throne never saw the, the never saw use by its owner. Why does it seem that? You can't see an ass crack, or, or not ass crack, <laughs> an ass print or something like that. Definitely can't see an ass crack. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why that would be. I also am not a hundred percent. Just certain about the uh, the instructions as to how to reach. That was a secret door, by the way, uh, as to how to reach the, um, the 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 keys. We have a headband of inspired wisdom. Uh, that would be no, not for you. Is it you? Do you need wisdom? She does need wisdom. She has mental perfection already, so it doesn't matter. She has vast intelligence. You don't need wisdom. You might need wisdom. You have alluring charisma, but that's I think that's for something else. And I have a crown of amazingness for charisma, and intelligence, and wisdom, and just yeah. So the headband is is what it is. Okay, let's look at the map. Can't believe the game still hasn't given me a healer. It, it like it just adds insult to injury, really, because it is super difficult anyway. I'm pretty sure even if I had. Harim, I wouldn't be able to beat any of these battles. But at least I'd be able to buff things a little bit better and whatnot. Not buff. You know, buff. Yes, buff. Um, but, um... But I still don't think I would be able to beat them. It's just they're... Those, those paralyzed checks, I don't even, like... Sure, paralyze everybody for a minute. <laughs> good job. Good job, everybody. Good, good, good job. I'm very thankful. At least that I, there's mods for this game. Otherwise, I, the let's play would have ended. By the way, if you if you're wondering, um, uh, well, maybe I would have save scummed the hell out of it and be playing with uh, with difficulty at 0.2 already for a while. Uh, maybe I would have been able to get past some of these battles. I don't think I would. Well, it's probably one or two battle that uh, one or two battles that I uh, that I would just I would have just left behind. But, uh, but there's definitely battles that you can't beat even on 0 0.2 damage because of just other concerns. Uh, we have a ghostly guard, but we don't have a healer. <sighs> We're not going to beat this. And we have more than one ghostly guard, obviously. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. We have chain lightning. What is that? Storm bolts. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you have taken strength damage permanent. I don't remember why, but sure. That didn't seem to do much damage. Oh no, we're dying. Oh, what is that? Oof. Uh, well, I think I know why you're taking strength damage. Um. Is she not attacking? Right. 
Okay. So we lost again. Hmm. That mage is a problem. That mage is a serious problem. Knowing the game, we're not... I mean, considering we can't even kill the one, one of them, we're probably not even going to be able to kill the mage. But I'm going to give it a shot. Attacks of opportunity. Ghostly guard. It is so bollocks. It is so bollocks that they spawn. Uh, what are you? Oh, you already had the thing. Okay. Let's see what we can do to a mage. You know, the lit, the, the, the actual geeking the mage. We can actually geek the mage. The cloud kills are tremendously bad. Uh, oh, we are losing everybody. Oh, we lost everybody. Yeah, that was a li little bit my fault, but not 100%. Um, but uh, we won. <gasps> With a lot of actual damage to our stats. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we need a rim. We need a rim. This is, this is like, it's... It should have been maybe, maybe the second team member to be given to me. The first would have been a tank, just to make sure that we have a chance. Uh, and then the, the second would have been the, the healer, so that we can recover from all the horrible things. Uh, but no, that was not to be. The mirror before you simply reflects its surroundings. It seems an amazingly mundane decoration for such an insane place as the House of the Edge of Time. That is, ex it's not a very insane place, honestly. It's just, it, honestly, it isn't. That is, except for one strange detail. The mirror reflects the room, the dust rising in rays of light, ex everything but you. The moment you realize that, you hear a dull moan from somewhere behind the glass. And, and someone nearly crashes into the mirror from the other side. The reflection, if, of course, it is a reflection, which it isn't, uh, raises his head. It's a human, clearly a wizard, a beautiful young pale face, as, uh, or rather, young face, pale as death. His dark clothes are charred and bloody. In one hand, the wizard is holding a lantern, just like yours, and while the other clings to the glass, as if he is trying not to fall... He says, I can't again and again. Hey, did you hear me? I'm going to say in the reflection, quote, not reflection, focuses his stare on you and whispers, I hear you. Next one. Who are you? I am what I seem, a reflection stuck in time. I'm the one who was reflected in this mirror long ago, probably dead, but I can't disappear. The house at the edge of time stores the moment when he was clinging to his life, wounded in this, on this very spot, in this very room, and I will remain here in remembrance of him forever, he says. This is what he said. Um... Whose reflection are you? I'm gonna ask. I don't know that. That the mirror only stores one moment, and I am but a small fragment of what he was, the real me. I am only what he felt when he fell to his knees before this mirror, wounded. Only what he was thinking in that moment: pain, rage, desire to achieve his goal, whatever it takes. Hmm. Where'd you get the lantern? It was a gift from someone great whose power was more vast than I could ever have imagined. But I can tell you no, no more. I don't remember. Why is it you called me that? What, what the heck? Why is it you called me that? That's one question. And then next one is what he called me? He... Oh... I, m I misspoke where, like when he said, I hear you, next one. That's how I should have said it, and not how I said it. What do you mean, next one? That's like the silliest thing to call somebody. I know nothing of my j true journey. Its end is lost in the darkness, and the beginning is so far away. But I know that you follow in his footsteps, as I once did. You fight to protect your lens from her, from Nyrissa. Can I help you in any way, I'm going to ask? And the reflection looks at you with sorrow. I want to be free. I want to I want to cease to be. 
which is sort of contradictory because if I want to be free or otherwise, I, then how would you be if you cease to be? I have lived for untold ages, feeling only despair, anger, fear of death and defeat. Everything that was, that's a lot of things to fear, honestly. You can't say that that you are only feeling that. You, you feel a lot of things. Uh, the, everything that was happening to me at that fateful moment for by the mirror. Can you help me? I know you can. I know I can have peace if I only learn the end of my story. There are three more mirrors somewhere in the house. That store, it's... Uh, which store? It's fragments. What fragments? It's or his? Is he... he consistently refers to a him and he his and he um so i assume that that's you know that's what it, it would be but maybe it's the fragments of a soul or something and that's why it, it is uh, it's he says but i am captured by this place in moment and cannot look for them on my own if you can do that for me if you revisit the path that the real me took and find all three mirrors then i shall be free sure i couldn't be more grateful the reflection whispers Listen, you have to start from the beginning and touch the mirrors in the same order they once reflected me. If you make a mistake in the order or touch an empty mirror, you'll have to start over. I can only assume that the next mirror is somewhere near the entrance to the house, but I know nothing more. Please help me and be careful, or you may become just another reflection in Nyrissa's mirrors. I uh, don't worry, I, I can I save a lot. Um, also, there, why would I want to save you? Is it a side quest within this thing? Well, maybe he's gonna give me something in return, and that's that's what that that's that, that's the reason why I would. Uh, the thing is, I definitely don't want to go back to the other mirror because uh, obviously I don't know where the old mirrors are, and I have a vague. Me You're gonna die, ghostly guard. Uh, I have a vague memory. Ooh, nice. Uh, of uh, what it was said in that other mirror, uh, because the. Um, because it said something about... Uh, this is the same battle as before. The one that killed us. And this will kill us even more. Um, because it said something about the, the, the mage going around not actually noticing us. So... So, uh... Yeah. We're dying. We're, we're gonna die. Until we have a rim, we have no way to not die. Also, remember, we don't even have rations to sleep. Um... It's good in a, in a game that the rations weigh a lot. But, mm, yeah. Also, there's grass next to the bed. Who's who's responsible for cleaning this place? Unless that's somebody's bed. That's definitely a. Come on, that's a that's a secret. Oh, maybe some of these are. I don't know if they're secrets or not. Nobody's noticing anything though. Oh well. Moving on. So. Oh yeah, there's there's more places to visit. I was like, so what, what, where, how? Mm -hmm. Nope. There's more. There's more for us. What are those things? Just crystals. Just some crystals. Uh, also, the passage between the two worlds. I probably should just explore one world and then explore the other. There's no reason to be to keep changing between one place and the other. Certainly not now. That uh, Harim. And what have we here? Not. Knock, knock. Is that the sound of your knees shaking in fear? I took you for a hero. For only a hero would be brave enough to come here. Or are you something else? A shabby, tattered bit of comedy, perhaps? I am hero. Great hero. Are you? Am I the only one who sees that? I don't think your master sees anything of the sort. Are you not put aside, laughed at, ridiculed, treated as your tribe treated you? No! She is a hero, and so I am. Uh, am I? Me? Hero? And I will stop you? No, oh, you contemptuous little thing. You cannot stop me. But if you truly are a hero, come to challenge me, then you may join the others who came before. In death. Anik. Oh, F9. oh no. How could she? Uh well I guess it's 
this time around it's not out of character. It's just whatever. We're only missing... Who are we missing here in our team? Uh, Harim? And who else was with us? It's easy to check. Because the game tells us. Um, and Valerie. Or, not Valerie, Amory. Man, the game really likes not giving us the, the tools to do anything. Oh, Knock Knock is alive. There you are, taking your time. Yeah, Knock Knock's ears perk up as you approach. He looks dirty and his clothes are in greater disarray than normal. His eyes are also a strange clear blue, like marbles. Uh, aren't they supposed to be red, like marbles? Uh, what happened to you? That foul-smelling plant woman with ears tried to kill me, but Knock Knock bravely cowered on floor and held breath. Old trick from way back in tribe makes them think knock knock already dead before they kick and hit more. Except this time, trick worked. Foul smelling plant that make sense. with ears, no keep kicking or hitting me, and her spell dodge most of it. Made eyes all funny though. Starting see normal again, almost good as new. That doesn't make sense. It, it, the idea here is to be a joke in a very inopportune time to have a joke. Uh, but the idea is to have a joke because, you know, it, it means that the old trick didn't work. Um, but it doesn't make sense because he, that means that he would have died before. Uh, because, you know, it didn't work if he fakes death before. Do you know what I mean? Are you sure you're all right? Ready to stab. Point the way and knife will follow. Plus, now you here. Let's play same game with her. Except this time, Knock Knock has clever plan. Keep kicking her when she falls. And make sure she not do same death fake trick Knock Knock do. Sounds good. Uh, well, we have Knock Knock. But we also don't need to level him up because we know we're not going to win. What a ragtag, ragtag team right now. I have uh, just I. Oof. Are we not gonna get a proper team? Surely we are. This is this is the mess. The, uh, the this room. The book of the journey. The book's pages are empty, but upon opening it, you see a road somewhere behind. Uh, far behind is Restov, where you accept your mission. The stolen lands spread open before you. Hills and swamps, ravines and rivers, along with hundreds of cruel cutthroats and thousands of monsters. Will you be able to conquer this land? The uncertainty is humbling, but the fear gives you strength and readies your blood. And that thing is expensive. It's 500 gold for that book. It's, uh... Did it say that the pages are empty? If I open it and see a road, what does that mean? Does it mean that I don't see a road in the pages? Ashes and dust. That's what this dwarf is. It would be amusing to find out how strong his faith is. Do you hear me, my loyal servant? What? What is this? Do I hear your voice? Oh... Grotus, do you speak to your servant in this lifeless place? It is true. Your time has come, Harim. Do not cling to this miserable world. Let go. Release your life. The boneyard awaits you. I am waiting. Oh, I've waited for this moment for long. How comforting it will be to close my eyes and know there is no need to open them again. You believed in your death so much that you really died, Dwarf. Few can boast such powerful beliefs. No. <laughs> 
No, that didn't happen. Uh, I was gonna say, did the game just doom itself? Uh, no. No, it did not. Uh, it did end the episode, though, because we're out of time. So, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Queen's Wish. No, not Queen's Wish. Did I say Queen's Wish at the beginning? Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm sorry. I'm mix the names up. Uh, this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.